Hi, I'm Marcin Kliczynski, CEO and founder of Malwarebytes. I'm here with Maria Korolov, cybersecurity reporter at CSO Magazine. Maria, advertising has become very prominent in the world, and, and we think there's security concerns around it. What, what, what are your thoughts on that? Okay, so there's two main threats from advertising. One is, if you have a website that has advertising on it, be very, very careful about the network you're doing business with. Make sure that they clean their ads before right. putting them out. I mean, this is a huge issue. If you don't want your your visitors to be infected by an ad that's on your site, because they trust your site, and that really destroys the trust that you have oh, with your okay, customers. Yeah. And, and also, if you're an advertiser, and you're buying an ad, a lot of programmatic ad buys going on. Be very careful where you're buying your ad that it's not uh, on, on one of the malicious ad networks out there. Which brings me to malicious ad networks. So, if um, if uh, you are an end user, you might sometimes have seen ads popping up on websites that don't look like they belong there. There's a few channels that that could come through a browser extension, maybe you downloaded some software that had stuff bundled with it. This is the potentially unwanted programs. My mother does that all the time. An adware, uh, your router might be infected if your router is set to default factory settings. Um, or you could be using an ISP or mobile provider or a Wi-Fi hotspot that has gone over to the evil side <laughs> and is not making enough money from you directly by charging you for their services, they're also making money by selling webs websites, um, ad space on websites that didn't agree to be running those ads, which is just evil. I cannot believe this is legal. And it's out of the user's hands for the most part. Yeah, you could have a perfectly clean computer be sitting there on your airplane or you know in your in your cafe or in your whatever your mobile carrier is you know directly and be getting ads that you haven't asked for that look like they're on a website that didn't run those ads these are marginal networks badly policed networks a high uh, high incidence of malware it's uh, uh, the, the ads are often very intrusive. They're layered on top of layered on top of other ads. Sometimes they will replace ads that are already on a web page with their own ads. Obviously, the publisher of the website isn't making any money from these ads. They have no idea this is happening. According to Google, five percent of all traffic is infected by these ejected ads. That's crazy. Uh, another vendor just did a research report, up to 15% of all traffic to banking websites has ads on it. Banks do not like running ads on their websites. This is a reputational issue, it's a security issue, privacy issue. An end user logging into a bank website can, can see the ad in the form of a survey or an ad for a competing bank. Uh, or uh, instructions to download a particular program, and you think, oh, my bank wants me to do this. Of course, the trust factor. I believe yeah. my bank, yeah. and the bank doesn't even know it's happening. I've seen estimates of, of the industry size of one to four billion dollars for this industry. A lot of it is through affiliated ad networks, where an ad goes through six or seven hops between a legitimate buyer to where it ends up on these shady gray networks. And uh, it's, they, they even have conferences about this where people show up and they brag about this. <laughs> There's vendors who brag about the new monetization opportunities this offers for carriers because you know, you're only charging for the data that people are using. Right. That's not enough money. <laughs> you have to make more money by sticking ads onto other people's websites. That is so evil. That is just so evil. I, I can't believe they're not arresting all these guys and putting them to prison. Yeah, it's scary stuff. Thank you very much, Maria. I'm Marcin Kliczynski, CEO and founder of Malwarebytes. Thank you.